Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to update all the latest definitions for your Kaspersky Rescue CD10. Now, as a PC technician, I'm always looking for ways to make my day more productive and work more smarter. And this program that this guy's created is an awesome way of keeping your Kaspersky Rescue CD up to date. So when you boot up to that live environment, you don't have to do a big long lengthy update, which can take quite a long time, especially if the client's got very slow internet speeds. So this way, you're going to be more productive. So let's have a look at the actual program. You can get it from this website here for free. I'll put the link in the description for you and the link to Kaspersky as well. And once we've got that, you're going to need a USB stick pen and we're going to be using RM Prep USB and uh, we're going to be using that to uh, create our USB pen. Now I'm just using a small pen drive here for Kaspersky on its own but you can make it more creative and put in loads of other stuff if you wish but this video I'm just keeping it simple. So let's first start off with our Kaspersky Rescue CD. As you can see it's 284 megabytes and uh, we need to do something with this. We need to put it into this folder here which is our folder for our updater. Okay? So what we're going to do is rename this first to rescue, like so, dot .iso. Now if you can't see the dot .iso, I'll show you why that is. You need to go to computer, organize, folder and search options, then view, and then down here you should see hide extensions for known file types. Take that tick out, apply and OK, and you should see the .iso, dot .iso image. Okay. Now once we've got that done, I'm just going to quickly copy this and put it into this folder here. Okay, now you can put this folder anywhere you like, I'm keeping mine on the desktop. Now once we've got that in there, all we need to do now is click on our disk update.bat file. So I'm going to click on this and you'll see it doing loads of different stuff behind the background there. Just let it do its thing, okay? Now this will take a bit of time. Okay, so let that download. Now if you have got a firewall, you may be prompted to let this go through. Okay, so you need to allow that to go out and download the actual updates, okay? Okay, that's now creating the ISO image. Okay, so we can see here there's no errors, so that's good, and it's all been completed. So we can just push uh, the enter key here to continue, and you should now see two ISO files here, okay? Okay, so let's uh, open up our RM Prep USB. Now, this is another free program that you can use, okay, and you can get it from his website. I will put the link in the description for you to download this. Now you can see my pen drive at the top here, and I've named it Rescue here. Okay, I'm going to leave this where it is. It's on FAT32, and I've put the tick inside boot as hard drive here. I'm going to put in no user prompts, and then all we need to do here now is prep our actual uh, USB thumb drive. Now I've put my USB thumb drive into the uh, computer here. I'm going to click Prepare. That's now going to prepare that for me. Okay, the next thing I want to do here is install Grub for DOS, okay? So I'm going to do this right now. And it was as quick as that. Now because I've got no user prompts, it won't prompt me for anything, okay? It will just carry on and do that for me. Okay, that's now completed. Connects it out of that. So now I'm going to open up my pen drive here and you can see there's a file in here so I'm just going to pull this to one side and open up the folder that we've got here so what I want to do here is create a folder inside my pen drive and call this rescue like so and now I want to copy these two files into that folder 
just going to drag and drop them in there like so. That will take a bit of time to copy those across. Okay, so that's the copied across. And there we have our two files inside our rescue folder. So I'm going to hit the back button here. So in the root of the uh, thumb drive. And I'm just going to copy across this menu. Now you can get more fancy and design a much nicer background for it if you wish. I'm keeping it simple for this video and you can also incorporate other programs and whatnot for your build okay this is just going to have Kaspersky on it now once we've done that I can close these off and let's have a look at our pen drive and we can now see this is our pen drive okay now we can test this out by using our mpreps USB tool I'm going to fire this up Hopefully I've got enough memory here, so I'm just going to hit test. Okay, so now I'm going to boot that up and test. It will take a bit of time because this is in a, a virtual machine. Okay, so now we can see we've got a very basic menu here. And uh, we're going to click on enter and this will now start to load up our Kaspersky Rescue CD with all the very latest definitions so we don't have to worry about updating we can just run a scan and get on with our day and there you have it so that's basically how you create a Kaspersky Rescue CD with all the latest uh, definition updates and you can keep that up to date and it will save you a lot of time okay so it's about working smarter really and this, if you're a PC tech, this will really uh, speed up your day. Okay, so I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button, show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.